Hello humans, Blazing Moe TV here, and today guys, I am going to be showing you guys one of the best decks to play in the standard format right now, which is Mewtwo v Union. So ever since NAIC, when Sanders Wajkick got top four with Mewtwo v Union, um, a lot of people have actually been trying out this deck, and it's a really good deck. So I'll go ahead and show you guys um, the cards inside of this deck right now. So yeah, so this is my entire deck list um, for Mewtwo v Union. So you have the four copies of Mewtwo v Union, of course. Um, you have a Galarian Meowth to allow you to discard them. Um, a Evil Tall in case you need to discard special energies to stall a little bit against decks that use special energies, such as Mew v Max or Blissey v. Two copies of Mill Tank to stall as well against um, V decks. And then two copies of Snorlax to get some extra draws. So the thing about Mewtwo v Union is this um, this card, it basically creates a situation where you cannot knock out Mewtwo v Union. Because Super Regeneration lets you heal 200 damage. And you have 310 HP. So yeah, um, most, of the, um, most of the meta decks right now, so Arceus V-Star, um, I guess Palkia V-Star although that isn't as popular anymore, they, um, they all cap out at about 200 damage. So you can continuously heal 200 damage. You have a bunch of disruption cards, such as um, four copies of Crushing Hammer and two copies of Fan of Waves. So once, you, um, so once you have discard all their energies and stuff and they can no longer attack, you start attacking and taking knockouts. Then there are two copies of Team Yelchir, to shuffle Pokemon and supporters back, four copies of Silene, or three, yeah, three copies. Um, there's even a Sydney in there, three bosses orders, two Professor Burnett's to help discard the Mewtwo V unions. There's also two Peonies or two Peonias. Um, so if you prize a Mewtwo V union piece, then you can get it back. And then you have your energies. So yeah, I think that this deck is um, I think this is a really good deck, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into a game, and we'll see how it does. Alright, so they're playing with a Darkrai deck box. Oh, it looks like they might be playing a Zorark V-Star deck, um, just judging based off the coin. Alright, so we start on the Galarian Meowth, which isn't the best. At least we do have a Mewtwo V Union piece in hand. Uh, oh, he's playing Zorark Box. Okay, so it looks like he is playing a Zorark Box deck. Um, let's go ahead and use a Trekking Shoes. I'm gonna actually discard the Silene. All right, there is a Mill Tank, which I think I will place down just in case, um, just in case I need it. Uh, I'm gonna attach for turn so I can hopefully retreat next turn. I'm going to discard the Mewtwo v Union piece, and it looks like we don't have any prized, which is good. I don't get them prized a whole lot, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass. The best thing that we could top deck here would be a Psychic type energy, so we can retreat out of the Galarian Meowth. And he is playing the Old Cemetery. Alright, so he's using an Evo Incense. Oh, it looks like he might be playing the Zorark Seeking Arctazolt variant, which is my favorite type of Zorark box deck. I actually built one myself a while back. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, Basically the seeking you just keep flipping coins over and over and I don't know what he's playing but you keep flipping the coins over and over to um, To try and uh, To try and discard as much energies and you use crushing hammers and stuff arc result um, Damages them when they attach energies. It's a lot of fun to play, but I'm not exactly sure what they're playing Okay, so we did get another um another Mewtwo v Union piece. So I am going to um, retreat out of the Galarian Meowth. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and use an ultra wall. And I don't know if he's gonna be using any, um, any uh, special energy, so I'm gonna hold off on the evil tall for a while. So I'll just get a Snorlax with that Ultra Ball. And I did not draw any Mewtwo V Union pieces, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, should I discard with Evolution Roar so I can get a few more draws? You know, I think I will. I'm gonna use Evolution Roar so I could just get that many more, um, that many more cards with Gormandize. And we are not getting a Mewtwo reunion. We have two in the discard pile, which is good. All right, he's damaging himself with the old cemetery. And um, just using Bite for knockout. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna use my Adventurer's Discovery, which is gonna allow me to go ahead and get the Mewtwo V unions. And then I will use the Evolution Roar to discard them. There's not even a Galarian Perserker in this deck. I just have it in there um, just, just for the um, discards alone. Filling a Crushing Hammer, which is kind of unfortunate. And I'm going to attach to the Snorlax. Uh, let's see. Well, I can discard the boss and just um, get it back with Team Yule's Cheer in a little bit. And we have two scoop up nets, three air balloons. So hopefully with the Gorman dies, we can draw into one of those cards. I did attach the energy just in case we don't. And we actually don't, but we do get a pokey stop, which is good enough, I guess. Right, he's playing a crushing hammer as well. And he does get a head, unlike me. And using the Jet Assault, I have 20 health left. So I need to get some sort of, um, some sort of card that will allow me to retreat. You know, I'm actually going to discard the research, which I only run one copy of. And I do get my one copy of Sydney. Alright, so I'm getting a Crushing Hammer. I'm gonna use that again. And I'm gonna discard the horror energy. Let's see. I'm gonna attach to the mill tank. Uh, he's gonna knock out the Snorlax this turn. I'm going to use Sydney. And the only card I can discard is the old cemetery. Uh, it's a good disruption card, but I guess it's just not good enough. And I'm also going to go ahead and play the Mewtwo V Union. Hopefully he just doesn't need a bolt shorter. Um, and yeah, I'm, let's see. Yeah, I do have two energies, so I can use the Union Gain. I'm going to use Evolution Roar to discard an energy in a Peonia. So I can get some extra draws with Gormandize. And there we go. So we do have the air balloon. Oh, he's actually playing Rugged Helmet. Rugged Helmet is a very good tool that actually doesn't see a whole lot of play. All right, he's playing the energy disruption route. Um, I'm gonna just try to get a scoop up net so I can remove those damage counters. Oh, he's just, um, he's just conceding. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was an unexpected win. But let's just go into the next game. I'm gonna start doing more of these types of videos where I, uh, where I show you guys decks and I play with them online and stuff. So, he's playing with a, um, he has a Lost Origin deck box. So, possibly, like, Garatina or something. All right, so we're starting on the Meowth again. I don't know how I always start on the Meowth because there's literally one copy of the card in the whole deck. 
All right, and oh yeah, it looks like, um, well, maybe not. He might be playing the Clefairy. He's probably playing the Clefairy. I think he is playing that um, single prize Clefairy deck, which is actually a really powerful deck for a single prizer. And I will draw a card. It would have been nice if we had drawn into the Mewtwo V um, or a Mewtwo V Union. But maybe he's not playing the Clefairy. Putting a Clara into the loss zone. Uh, yeah, that's all he has in the loss zone. I'm gonna hold off until I know he is playing um, special energies, but I'm gonna go ahead and start using the trekking shoes, just discarding some psychic energies to um, think ahead to the evolution roar. Or uh, I misclicked by accident. Oh well, that's fine. I'm just gonna use the evolution roar um, as well. All right, I'll catch the air balloon. Evolution roar to discard those two. And before I use the peonia, all right, I'm thinking I will use the peonia anyways. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use the peonia just to get some extra draws. Okay, trekking shoes, air balloon, and cookie stop. Let's see. I'm going to put back the air balloon. I think I'll put back the boss and I guess pokey stop. Although I could definitely use the pokey stop. I'll just get it back once I get a prize card. Um, let's see. I'm going to retreat and I'll just use Gormand Eyes for five. All right, we do at least draw into a Mewtwo V Union. So I have the scoop up net available. It would be really nice if I top decked another Mewtwo V Union, because then I can discard both copies of the Mewtwo V Union. Um, and then, uh, with the Ultra Ball and then get another one. And this guy just concedes as well. So, I'm thinking we'll play one more game, since both of those were somewhat short games. Uh, but we are getting four uncommon chests. I'm already on the second, um, on the second, uh, versus rewards page so yeah getting closer to getting that jolteon but the thing i'm looking forward to the most is the event tickets i'm gonna um yeah so i'll send him the hello and it's waiting for him to load the game he's probably playing a shadow rider deck i'm thinking Oh, he's actually letting me go first, okay. Yeah, he is playing Shadow Rider, like I thought. But for once, we are actually starting on Snorlax. Uh, do I want that? I think I will take that Snorlax. Um, let's see. I'm gonna attach the air balloon there. I'm gonna quick ball the boss's orders. And we prized two Mewtwo V Union pieces, which is unfortunate. Luckily, we, stu we still do have our two Peonias, so we'll have to get those back at some point. I will get the Galarian Meowth. And I'm gonna just attach the big parasol. Hold on, hopefully we draw into a Peonia. We don't, but I'll probably, hopefully I'll be able to get it with the 
trekking shoe. All right, so he's using a fog crystal. Okay, a Shadow Rider Calyrex. Oh, he's getting the Galarian Articuno, which is um, which can be a good card. Okay, he's using a Marnie, which is good because I really need that Peonia. And I don't get them. Unfortunately, I did not get them, but I do have the Professor Burnett at least. So let's use the Pokestop. Okay, we are discarding a Mewtwo V Union with the Pokestop. All right, I will take that. So I'm going to use the Professor Burnett to discard that. And I'll also discard a Psychic Energy just so we can use the Union Gain easier. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to try to burn as many cards as possible. I'll attach the air balloon there. I'm just gonna try to burn a card and, by scooping up the Snorlax and placing it back down. I don't want to get rid of my other scoop up map, so I'm just gonna use Gormandize. And we do draw into the Peonia, thankfully. Uh, pick the correct prize cards and pick which ones have the Mewtwo V Union pieces, then we're going to be good. Alright, so he's starting to get the Shadow Rider set up. He already has three of the V Maxes in play. And I've actually been playing a lot of Shadow Riders um, lately on uh, Versus Ladder. I don't know why. I've played like five in the past day. All right, so he's using Fog Crystal to get a Psychic Energy. All right, so he's starting to get a little bit scary with all the Shadow Riders. He officially has all four of the Shadow Riders in play. And he's using the Crescent Glow. All right, so let's see how the Peonia goes. I'm actually gonna go with four, five, and six, and let's see. Adventures Discovery, Mewtwo V Union. All right, we did at least get one Mewtwo V Union. I'm definitely gonna put back the Adventures Discovery. Don't need that anymore. The only Vs that I play are the Mewtwo's. I'll put back, I don't think he runs any Psychic Energy, so I'll put that back. And I have a Mill Tank already, so I'll put that back. And, uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm getting those two back. Um, I'm getting the crushing hammer and quick wall. I will use the hammer. I'll discard from the Cresselia. 
And I'm actually gonna hold off on the evolution roar for now. Well, maybe I should use it just to get rid of the cards. I'll attach an air balloon there. I'm gonna quick ball a Silene. Um, and then I'll use my evolution roar to get rid of Mewtwo and scoop up net, I guess. And I'll just go ahead and use my Gormandias. I really need to draw into the other Peonia because I still do have a Mewtwo V Union piece in the prize cards. So yeah, we need to get that um, top left Mewtwo V Union card. All right, he's replacing my Pokestop with a training cord, which could be useful, although I'm gonna want to keep some energies in the prize cards. I still do need to get another energy. I mean, not in the prize cards, in the discard pile. All right, so hopefully, um, hopefully I can get the Peonia with the, um, with the, uh, with the trekking shoes. All right, so he is using a Marnie, which is good. Although I'm still not getting the cards. He's going ahead and getting a knockout on the Snorlax. I'm gonna promote the other Snorlax. I could promote the Miltank and do a bit of stalling, but the Miltank doesn't have the air balloon. It has the big parasol on it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I think I'm gonna... Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot that I can do. So I'm going to use the Team Yells Cheer. I'm gonna get Snorlax, definitely Peonia, and I'm thinking probably Silene. Yeah, I feel pretty good with those three. I am going to Ultra Ball those two away and get the Snorlax back onto the bench. And I'll just use Gormandize for six. And I'm still not getting the Peonia, which is unfortunate. I might not win this game. I mean, I, I'm i thinking my best bet might be just try to deck him out because if he knocks out the Snorlax, I could promote and even if he can boss into the other two, um, or guess them up somehow, then he'd only have two prizes left. But the Galarian Articuno is what's really worrying me. He could even use the um, he could even use the Cresselia if he wants. I'm gonna promote my free retreat, Pokemon, and I'm just gonna start trying to stall him out. Yeah, I I fell to crushing hammers. Which is unfortunate. I, uh, I really needed to make at least one of them. I could use Silene and try to get the trekking shoes back, but I'm thinking I'll actually try to go with a little bit of disruption. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have any tools, special energies, or stadium cards in his hand. Wow, that was a waste. Um, I could honestly. Try to just start attaching to the mill tank and use that. I'm going to use the evolution roar to get a fan of ways and a psychic energy in the discard pile. And I'm 
and I'm gonna retreat into the Snorlax and use Gormandize. If I can't get the Peonia, all right, there we go. I did get a boss's orders at least, which was gonna be the next thing that I would hope for um, next to the Peonia because he's gonna knock out the Snorlax. I'm probably gonna try to knock out the Articuno. Um, but the unfortunate thing is I'd be just a little bit short of a knockout. I'd be 10 short. And I don't run Galarian Zigzagoon. Right now, I probably should run a Galarian Zigzagoon. Alright, so I'll promote him. Um, I'm gonna use a Crushing Hammer. I literally can't flip any heads or anything. Oh well. Uh, and all the hammers are discarded. So, I'm thinking I am going to, uh, attach for turn, which my mill tank I had to put in the prize cards earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna try to just get a knockout. Um, it'll be a two-hit knockout, but he's going to, uh, he's going to knock me out this turn. My only hope would be to somehow get a, um, would be to just somehow top deck the Peonia, which isn't working very good right now for me. And I did not top deck the Peonia. I am going to place down the Evil Tall, and I'm gonna just play Marnie. Both the Peonias are in there. I don't know how I'm not drawing them. All right, trekking shoes. No, I don't want the quick ball. Oh, there we go, another trekking shoes. Yes, I do want the Peonia. There we go. And I'm gonna attach to the um, Evil Tall. And I'm gonna retreat and he doesn't have any, yeah, he doesn't have any special energies. I just attach to the twin energy so that then I can have two Pokemon that basically have a free retreat. Well, the Evil Tall doesn't have a free retreat. I have to discard energies, but at least I already have the energies on it. Which I'm thinking there might be a chance now that I was able to get the trekking shoes with the Marnie and then get the Peonia. Uh, he is using a Marnie trying to get rid of that Peonia. And also I had my psychic energy in there, which is another card I needed. Okay, at least I got um, the other Peonia. Which the energy is what I need now. All right, I'll use the trekking shoes. Um, I will go with the Silene. Yes, I will go with it. And I'm going to use the Peonia. That took way too long to get the um, to get the Mewtwo in play. But I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not using a research anymore. Definitely not doing that. I'm also not going to use Pokestop. And I'm going to Evolution Roar those two. Which is going to allow me to shuffle the deck a bit. And... Oh, I forgot he had the Training Court in play, which is good. So I can go ahead and use the Union Gain. And I'm probably going to use the Silene if I get a heads, which I usually don't. But hopefully I do. I'll get probably the Team Yells cheer since I'm running very low on cards. And I'll go ahead and 
Switch into the Mewtwo, and I'll use the Union Gain. Which Shadow Rider might actually, um, the Shadow Rider, uh, he might actually be able to, um, rack up enough damage. Because it does 30 more, so, yeah, he's hitting for 250, so he's gonna be, uh, he'll be able to rack up enough damage, and he hasn't discarded any bosses, so I know he has one. Most decks run a boss's orders, or several of them. I run four in this deck, I believe. Um, three or four. But, yeah, he probably will be able to draw a boss's orders. I don't think I can win this game. It just took me too long to get the Mewtwo V Union set up. Yeah, it just took me way too long to get the Mewtwo V Unions set up. And I was struggling to get the Peonias. Um, it just took way too long. I haven't gotten the best luck in this game. I'm pretty sure I failed all four of the Crushing Hammers, at least three of them. But yeah, I don't think I'll be able to win this game unless he decks himself out. Which he might actually deck himself out. Oh yeah, he he was able to hit for a knockout. So yeah, that was a good game, but there wasn't really much I could do. But yeah, guys, we at least won two of our three games. Although um, the two games we won, the other um, the other guy did just um, concede. But yeah, I I still probably would have won, which is probably why he forfeited. But yeah, that's the Mewtwo v Union deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you guys want more awesome um, TCG Online videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.